All right, so we're going to pick up right here on page 218 with the different types of loans. This is one of the important sections, and these are all the different kind of loans that are the most common that you will see as an agent, all right? <coughs> now, I hope we can do this today with this video going back and forth because this is a section I use the whiteboard on a lot. Uh, to draw these different kinds of loans. So as you can see right out of the gate, the first one that we're gonna talk about is this thing called a straight loan, all right? A straight loan, well, that's not the one that should be, should be that one. <clears throat> a straight loan is often defined as like this. So here's your monthly payment and you pay all of the interest first and then all of the principal second. So 100% of your payment would go towards the interest that you have accrued on that loan with then followed by all of the payment would go to principal. So all 500 goes to interest and once you pay it off in certain number of months, I just made that number up, then all 500 would go to principal. So it's straight interest and straight principal out of the gate. It is designed so that at the end of the loan, you owe zero dollars, all right? Now, in your book, they talk about a very special kind of straight loan, and a lot of times you hear this called interest-only loan. Now, all you are paying is just the interest, all right? So all $500 pays the interest. Here's the kicker important thing about an interest only loan. At the end of the time frame, you would still owe the money you started with. Notice in this one, interest only, there is no principal paid back. In essence, all you are doing is renting the money. So when this loan comes due, you must pay one payment to pay it off of $100,000. That one large payment has a very special name, called a balloon loan or a balloon payment, all right? So a straight loan, straight interest, then straight principal. A very specific one of a straight loan is called interest, and you'll see it sometimes interest only, all right? So let me ask you a question. How do I make a payment of $100,000? How can I make one balloon payment of a hundred grand when this loan comes due? There are two ways to do it. What's one of them? Wire transfer. Do what? Like a wire transfer? Get uh, another loan. A wire transfer is the method, but I mean, how do you come up with the money, Cameron? How do you get a hundred grand? Oh. I heard one of them, you would refinance the loan, right? And a refinance is a sale with a purchase. So you, in essence, would literally just move the time frame out again and keep going. That's one way. What's the other way to make this $100,000 payment? How about you just sell the property? you could just sell the property, all right? So the two methodologies is you gotta refinance that interest only loan and push the date out again, <clears throat> or you sell the property, all right? So what purpose is an interest only loan? There are two specific uses for an interest only loan, all right? Those uses would be 
let's say like the old Florida market, where a property is probably worth 50%, 100%, 200% more than it was worth when you bought it three or four or five years ago. So you pay the interest, and then in five years, you sell it off for uh, double that amount. So it appreciates to up here like this. And then when you sell it, you pay this amount off and you keep that amount. That's one way to do it is for a property like that, where it appreciates quickly, but your loan balance stays here. So when you sell it here, that's your profit. That's your balloon loan. So the old Florida market, California market, any properties that may appreciate quickly, that would be one reason to use a balloon loan. So your monthly payments right through here are cheap, but the value is going up. <clears throat> Another reason that you see these used is in investment properties, investment properties where the payment is low and the rent is up here, so there's more profit because your payment is lower you're, since you're only paying a balloon payment or you're only paying an interest only. All right, you got it? So those are the two types of reasons you would interest use that. Now, here's the most common loan that you will see, and this is the one I guarantee almost everybody has, is a loan called an amortizing loan. Amortizing. Amortizing is Latin for to kill off slowly, which is really what I thought marriage was, all right? But actually it's amortizing. So what you see is this. I'm gonna change pen colors. Let's see if we can make it a little bigger, thicker too. An amortizing loan, here's your monthly payment. But watch this. Now, instead of your curve being vertical, your curve goes like this. It kills off or dies off slowly. <clears throat> so what you have is every payment, every payment is some portion of interest and some portion of principal together. And together, the interest and the principal for that month equals this same number. Sometimes you hear this loan called a level payment loan because the amount of payment is the same every month. This is designed to help people that are on a budget make your house payment of $750 a month. And as you can see this curve, as your payments get more and more, you know, into the time factor, your amount of interest goes down and the amount of principal goes up each portion. And for those of you that have this kind of loan, you probably know this. You make your first payment and almost all of it goes to interest and a little goes to principal. And then as you make more and more and more, it goes more principal, less interest, right? That is called an amortized loan. The most common one that you see is what we call the 30-year AM. AM is the short word or slang word for amortized. So you will hear your lender say it's a 30-year AM. The other common one is a 15-year AM, meaning it's amortized over 15 years instead of 30. All right? So... This time frame here typically is 30 years. So it's called a 30 year AM. All right. And six percent fixed throughout the entire loan. This is the most common loan that you guys will see called a 30-year AM, 6% six, 6 fixed rate, all right? All right, 
So let's have some math fun today. I'm going to give you a math problem that is way easier than it looks. All right. So let's assume I have a 30 year AM 6% loan. All right. Monthly payment is $700 a month. I borrow a hundred grand. So my question to you is after the first payment, how much is my loan balance? All right. 30 year am 6% loan my monthly payment is $750 i borrowed $100,000 my question to you is how much is my loan balance after my very first payment i'll give you a minute It looks like everybody is diligently at work. Anybody got an answer yet? I need the Jeopardy theme. theme. Is it 105,250? So your balance is more after you make a payment? Yeah, because don't you times it by the interest and then you just deduct that 750 amount from the, the, um, the loan? You're very close, but listen to the answer you just told me. After you make a payment, your balance is more? Because aren't you just paying towards the interest? No, this is an amortized loan. <laughs> I mean, realistically, just your thought would be if I make a payment, I should owe less than what I started with. Otherwise, there would be no incentive in making a payment if I owed more. Christina, answer. Jaman. All right, let's walk through this and follow me. Cameron, you are on the right track. So the first thing we have to understand is, Cameron, you were on the right track, but you kind of made a little math problem. So how much interest am I paying on this loan this year? 6%. 6 percent. 6 percent, which is how much money? And it like 6,000? 6,000. 6,000. $6,000 a year, right? Right. How much is that a month? I picked easy numbers for you. Oh, okay. Right. Well, the light comes on. How much yeah. interest did I pay that month? 6000 divided by 12 is $500. Right? And I told you my monthly level payment was $750. So if 750 is my payment and 500 of that is interest, how much of that 750 went to the principal? $250. So therefore, after I make my first payment, My loan amount is now $99,750.